morning. Well, it's noon somewhere. I'm Roger Numbers. When Prohibition was repealed 75 years ago today, it wasn't a time of great celebration in America. Sure, it was easier to drink, but there were a lot of reasons to drink. Our guest Michael Lerner has written about Prohibition. Welcome. Thank you. So repeal came a few days after the invention of the Bloody Mary in New York, which kind of suggests Prohibition didn't work. Prohibition didn't work on the first day. Uh, it didn't work on the last day, and it didn't work on the first day. It never worked at all, ever. It was a really bad idea. Why? People like to drink. The lid is off in many places. And there's a lot of money to be made in alcohol. And when you put those together, uh, you get a lot of misbehavior. So how did people find ways around the law? Well, every day people were trying to figure out ways to find the loopholes in the law. If you were a bartender and you were selling uh, whiskey, you would keep it in a safe. Mm -hmm. And if the police ever walked in, you'd just kick the door of the safe shut. It would lock and you'd need to get a warrant to open it. <laughs> Um, or other bars would set up um, trap doors, and they'd have their whole bar rigged as a trap door, pull a lever, all the bottles drop to the basement, they break, the liquor runs into the gutter, and having broken glass isn't a crime. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. Happy repeal day. That's all from us for now. We'll be right here Monday morning. Brought to you by the Lexus Hybrids and the Power of H. Thank you.